Just as our bodies grow and develop, so do all our organs, including the brain. But what can science tell us about how different stages of brain development affect our ability to learn? To find out more about the development of children's brains, we visited Dr. Fred Dick of Birkbeck College London, a leading expert in the field, and asked him firstly about how we begin to learn. Experience expectant learning is really uh, the kind of learning that, that an animal or human does quite early on in development. So for instance, around birth or a little bit afterwards. And this is a development that is relying upon, upon features in the environment that you can reliably encounter. So for instance, you'll hear lots of different uh, auditory frequencies, you'll get visual input, you'll get light input. And a uh, developing system really relies upon this kind of low-level uh, perceptual input to kind of set up its circuits. Experience-dependent development, which is really what we think of as being most of the human experience, particularly in the school age, is really the kind of learning that you do um, every day and that reflects your experiences and actions as an individual. So you frame a shot with the back one, get your composition. Oh, okay. The front one you focus with, and when it beeps, it's in focus. So it's setting up changes in, in synapses, the connections in brains, that are allowing you to learn specific things about, uh, about the world. And this is really where we start to build up the scaffolding of knowledge that allows us to do many complex skills. So we know that there are sensitive periods when experience shapes the development of the brain. Educationalists have argued that this has implications for the age at which certain subjects are introduced into the curriculum, suggesting, for instance, that it's better to start teaching foreign languages in primary schools rather than waiting for secondary. Yeah, very good. Trois. very good. It is also argued that activities involving motor skills are easier to learn at a younger age. But is learning limited to these sensitive periods, or can the brain continually change and adapt? Brain plasticity we used to think of as something that was just happened during development and then shut off. But in fact, what we know now is that brain plasticity is really perhaps the fundamental organizing principle in brain function. We see plasticity at every level of brain function happening throughout life up until your dying day. A study in 2004 demonstrated the ability of the brain to change with learning by showing that adults new to juggling experienced significant expansion in an area of the brain associated with visual processing after just a three-month training period. So regardless of our age, our brains can continue to change and develop in response to our experiences.